Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that one cubed plus two cubed plus dot 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 plus n cubed is equal to n squared times n plus one squared divided by four for all positive integers n. And we're going to do it uh, via the principle of mathematical induction. So let's go ahead and start proof. So before we jump into the proof, I wanted to show you that you can rewrite what we have here in another way. You can write this using summation notation, which I think adds more clarity to what's happening in the proof, in my opinion. So this is really the sum. As i runs from 1 to n of i cubed. And we're showing that this is equal to n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. And we're trying to show that this is true for all positive integers n. So just restating the problem using summation notation. Also, since, since it's an induction proof, I really think it's important to understand what you're trying to prove. So you're trying to prove a statement. And the statement you're trying to prove is the one I am putting in a box here. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it S for statement. And I'll put a subscript of an n. And we're basically showing that S sub n is true for all positive integers n. That's what induction does. It allows you to prove statements about integers. OK, so the first step in an induction proof is the base case. So base case. In the base case, you show your statement is true for the smallest positive integer in question. In this case, we have to show our statement is true when n is equal to 1. So what that basically means is we plug in 1 for the n here. So we have the sum as i runs from 1 to 1 of i cubed. So that's just 1 cubed. This would be the left-hand side. So I'm going to say LHS, left-hand side is equal to that. What about the right-hand side? So RHS, the left-hand side of the equation is 1. The right-hand side of the equation is 1 squared, 1 plus 1 squared, over 4. So that's 1 squared is 1, so that's 2 squared over 4, so that's 4 over 4, so that's 1. Yep, so the left-hand side is 1, the right-hand side is 1, therefore they're equal. So the statement is true when n is equal to 1. So in other words, s sub 1 is true. Usually it's pretty easy to show the base case. Not always, but usually, like I would say 99% of the time. The next step is called the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. You can abbreviate this if you like, maybe like IH. And this is where you assume your statement is true for some k. So you assume s sub k is true. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's assume s sub k is true. So you say suppose that our statement is true when n is equal to k for some k. So the sum as i runs from 1 to k of i cubed is equal to k squared, a plus 1 squared, over 4 for some positive integer k. So for some positive integer k. So basically, we just take the k and plug it into this. OK. The next step is the induction step. This is the hardest step in the proof. So induction step. In the induction step, we have to show that our statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So we have to show s sub k plus 1 is true. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to write down what we're trying to show. Uh, but it's really important to indicate to the reader that it's what you're trying to show. So I'm going to write down claim. If you just write it down without writing claim, People will look at your work, they'll be like, well, they're, 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 not, they're doing it wrong, right? Like, Because you, you're trying to show this, so technically you're not supposed to write it unless you indicate you know, in an explanatory way that you're trying to, to show it. So claim that this is true. 
So basically just replacing all of the k's with k plus 1's. k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2. Right, because it's 1 plus 1, so it's 2. So this is what we're trying to show. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll start by maybe just writing down the left-hand side, and we'll show it's equal to the right-hand side. So then the finite sum, as i runs from 1 to k plus 1 of i cubed, is equal to, so we have to show it's equal to this. So we have to somehow, always, and this is usually what you want to do in all induction problems, when you get to this step, you say, hey, how can I involve the induction hypothesis? Now, it might not be clear right away. If it's not clear, then you ask yourself, well, what in the world can you do? <laughs> so sometimes there's some simplification that has to happen first, etc. In this case, we can involve it pretty quickly. You see here, the induction hypothesis um, has the sum running from 1 to k. Here we have the sum running from 1 to k plus 1. So what we'll do is we'll break this sum up. So first, we'll go from 1 to k. And then we still have the k plus 1th term. So plus the very last term in this series would be k plus 1 cubed. right? Because you plug in k plus 1. It's the last thing you plug in is k plus 1. So it's everything from 1 to k, and then plus the last term. So we basically broke up the sum, the sum of the cubes from 1 to k plus 1 is the same thing as the sum of the cubes from 1 to k, and then plus the sum of the last one, which is k plus 1 cubed. So we've just broken it up into two pieces. And we've done that so we can use the induction hypothesis on this piece here. Because we know this is equal to this by the induction hypothesis. I'm going to go ahead and write that. This is k squared, k plus 1 squared, over 4. I mean, let, me, let me fix that too. Over 4. I don't think I made it any better. Uh, plus k plus 1 cubed. And so this is by the induction hypothesis. I'll put by ih. Induction hypothesis. Helps to specify when you use it just for like added clarity. You want to be as clear as possible. That's one of the things I think is... It's really important in proof writing and it's not always practiced. Um, so now we need to add these. So this is really over 1. We can multiply this by 4 over 4 so that we have a common denominator. So now we can write it all under 4. So this will be k squared, k plus 1 squared, plus 4 times k plus 1 cubed. And it's all being divided by 4. Okay, all of that's being divided by 4. And then we're trying to get to this. Let me show you. We're trying to get to this. That's why I wrote it down, the claim. Because if you don't know where you're going, you cannot get there, right? It's super important. Normally, you would do this in, like, your scratch work. But, um, you know, this is a video. So I need to show you the scratch work and the solution. So here, we can pull out a k plus 1 squared. And then here, this is k squared plus 4 times k plus 1. Right, just factoring out a k plus 1 squared, right? You could check k plus 1 squared times k squared is right here. k plus 1 squared times this. Well, you add the exponents, right? There's really a 1 here. 1 plus 2 is 3. Just some simple algebra. So this is equal to k plus 1 squared k squared, and then here you distribute the 4. 4 times k is 4k, and 4 times 1 is 4. And this is all being divided by 4. Keep going. This is equal to a plus 1 squared. This is called a perfect square trinomial because it actually factors like this. And this is just from memory. You can check this. Um, this will factor. It's k plus 2 times k plus 2. And that's precisely what we had to show, right? That's right here. That's exactly what we needed. k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared over 4, and it's down here. So we've shown that our statement is true for k plus 1. So s sub k plus 1 is true. Okay, let's take a moment to reflect. What have we actually done? We are trying to show that this statement is true for all positive integers n. 
we are trying to do it via the method of mathematical induction. So we've shown it's true for the base case. We did that here. And we also showed that if it's true for some k, it's also true for k plus 1. We've shown those two things. Because we've shown those two things, we can invoke the principle of mathemat mathematical induction and say that our statement is true for all positive integers n. So thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, so mathematical induction, S sub n is true for all positive for all positive integers n. Um, so I'm, not, I'm actually just going to write our statement. So the sum as i runs from one to n of i cube is equal to n squared n plus one squared over four for all positive integers n. And that completes the proof. Nice, nice example of a proof, not too hard at all. It's pretty simple compared to a lot of induction proofs. Um, you can go further. You can put a four here, you can put a five here, and you can keep going. Those are a lot messier um, to do. Maybe I'll do one of those at some point. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who's trying to learn. Good luck.